We'll guide you through how to fix an iPhone screen glitching or flickering. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This can be super annoying and you may be worried. So we've got some different fixes you can try. So I've managed to go and fix it before. The first thing that's worth trying is performing a force restart. This just goes and refreshes and restarts the phone. To do that, you press the increase volume button, the decrease and hold down the power button. You'll go and see this screen here. Keep on holding down the power button until you see the Apple icon. Beforehand, it will go black, but keep holding it. At this point release, when you see the Apple icon. Go and see if that solved your problem. If it did, then great. However, if it didn't, the next thing you can try doing is removing a screen protector if you have one on, and if you have a case on, take it off as well. People have said that that's been a problem for them, so go and take it off and you can go and see if that goes and solves the problem. Sometimes it can be putting pressure on your phone or whatever. If that still doesn't solve the problem, then let's get into the next fix. And that is gonna be massaging your phone screen. So depending upon the cause of why it's happening, sometimes just going and sort of gently pushing on your phone screen like so with your finger you can go and solve the problem. You can do it quite firm and just push down and see if you can go and fix it. If it fixes it, then great. However, if it doesn't, then what you want to try doing is doing a software update because it could just be a software glitch. So what you can do is go and open up your settings. And then what you want to do is go into general and you want to go and find software update just here. And it's gonna go and see if there's any available. If there is, then you can go and click on update now and go and start it. After your iPhone updates, that will hopefully go and fix the problem. If it still doesn't, then you may need to go and get it repaired by Apple, so go and get in contact with them. If you found this useful, then leave a like.